Okay, good morning, you guys, and happy Saturday. It is currently 7.30, and I'm going to at 45 for another workout. I was going to make today a rest day because I have been, like, very sore and very tired. But I know next weekend I won't be able to go. I usually book my classes the night before, but last night I was like, I might make tomorrow a workout or a rest day. So I decided not to book my class last night, and then... I was like, if I wake up early enough to go, then I'll see how I feel in the morning. And I woke up this morning, and I was like, I really don't want to go. But I know it's going to make me feel so much better for the rest of the day. And just, like, really help my mood and everything. I was like, let's just book it and get it over with. So, I did. My mom will be here later today. We are going to one of, like, a family friend's going away party. They're moving to North Carolina. So... She is coming and staying with me and sleeping here tonight. So I think we're gonna do like some shopping, probably go out to eat and then go to this party later in the evening. Um, so I probably am not gonna eat the best today. So I was like, let me just get this workout in early before all of that goes down, so. Okay, I just got out of class. Saturdays are always the hardest classes because they're an hour and like cardio and resistant based, but it was good. So, I just got home. I'm going to see if I can convince... What is this lighting? Like, what? I'm going to see if I can convince Nate to go out to breakfast with me. And if so, we will do that. If not, I'll just eat something here. And I want to go sit by the pool for a little bit before my mom gets here. So, we have like three or four hours before she gets here. And it looks like it's going to be a very nice day today. My favorite drink post-workout. I convinced Nate we're going to get bagels from Rolling Stars in Westchester. First timers. Let's go. going to Plato's closet to go shopping because mom wants to look for some clothes and then we're off to the party for the weekend. Your drive. My drive was delightful. She was an hour and a half late but it's okay she still made it. Dad sent me Just something today and it said for me. It said 10 of the best free things that you can do for yourself that doesn't involve like spending money. Of them being this is what time. it says. Ten things that require zero talent. Number one, being on time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that talent. Don't even have that. Well, if it weren't for animals, I would would have been on time. finished making these little s'mores dog treats these took freaking forever but i think they turned out pretty cute they're a little messy but i feel like that adds to the effect because s'mores are messy so i think they're cute but clearly i do not have a cookie cutter which i need to get i just i used a knife and just size them eyeballing and they're definitely all different sizes i feel like this is more like the perfect size like it's small enough for a dog and these ones are a little bit too big so i need to find a good square cutter but yeah been on my dog treat making kick so i think these are cute and i gave murphy one already and he loved it so suit 
I got this from Amazon. It's a little two-piece, but then it has this nice little skirt. Okay, it is much later. It's like four o'clock now. I came inside. I'm a little crisp. I'm gonna start making the dog training treats. I got these little treat molds off of Amazon. I can link all of my dog supplies because I ordered a whole bunch off of Amazon. If anyone's interested, I also always have it saved on my like to know it. We are gonna make some little training treats. Murphy, would you like a chicken foot? Would you like a little chicken foot while I make your treats? Okay, there you go. Good boy. Make sure you chew it. watching sweet magnolias because the new season just came out so i've been watching that but thank you guys all so much for watching i know this was a chaotic vlog that was kind of all over the place but if you guys want any of the recipes that i've been doing for murphy's treats or want me to continue vlogging as i'm making other treats for him let me know in the comments and that can be something we start doing more of on the vlog mm -hmm.